Okay. Um, do you want to talk about how you're doing? Talk about that. Um, so far and like what they've done so far since the last video, like what you they found and mm -hmm. just kind of recap all that. Okay. Hi everyone, uh, this is just uh, to give you an update on where I'm at with, uh, with my injury. Um, uh, a few weeks ago, Joy posted a video um, talking about how, or where I was talking about uh, the injury that I got uh, from crashing my bike riding around the neighborhood. And, um, so I, I broke my, my clavicle and, uh, I had surgery to repair that, uh, a little over three weeks ago. Uh, it was July 7th was the day that I had surgery. And what they basically did for the surgery was to, um, the, the, the clavicle bone was, was pretty much, you know, split in it split in half and separated and they um, they reattached it using uh, screws and, and a, a plate which is still in there at the moment uh, so it seems to be seems to be healing uh, nicely I think I I don't have much pain unless I move my arm around too much I still don't have good range of motion in my, in my shoulder. I, I have very, you know, small, uh, small range of motion where I can move it pain free, but I have noticed, um, maybe not every day, but every two or three days, I'll see uh, a noticeable difference in the range of motion that I have or things that I'm able to do which I couldn't do before. Um, currently, I'm actually I'm able to use my right arm a lot more than than I I was able to after the injury before the surgery. And then you know obviously uh, immediately after the surgery I couldn't use it at all either because I was in a sling for a few days. Um, but I had my follow up appointment post-op appointment with the, the doctor, um, not quite a, a little less than a week after I had the surgery. And the, the, the good news, um, from a cycling perspective was that, uh, he said that I, he, he said it was okay for me to ride the stationary bike. Uh, so I've, I've been starting to train, uh, I, I didn't do any training, obviously, the, uh, the week that I had surgery. I was, um, I was kind of drugged up and just, re just relaxing at the time and, and also wasn't sleeping well at all, uh, so I was pretty tired. Um, I'm still not sleeping great, but it's, it's getting better. And, um, but fortunately, I was able to, a couple weeks ago, to start easing back into some some training on the stationary bike. And, um, so it's, it's really great to have, um, access to that, you know, that we already had the bike ergs and, you know, that we were using the Zwift. We had that all set up already. So it was just a matter of me, uh, hopping on there. And, um, Zwift was doing that virtual tour de France thing for a few weeks, which that kind of kept things, interesting for me. I, uh, I did a few of those rides. Um, when I first started riding the, the biker again, I was doing it pretty much with one hand, um, really, really lightly touching the, the handle with, with, with the right arm. I, that's one thing that I've noticed, um, over time has improved. I feel like I'm able to you know, extend my right arm a little bit more so I can get, I still, I still don't hold the, the handle very, um, very much with the, the right hand, but at least I'm able to get my shoulders more aligned on the bike because I'm able to extend the right arm 
into a more normal position. Um, so anyway, training has, has started up again. It, it really stinks that I can't ride outside with Joy though. Um, if she's been uh, still doing uh, some outdoor rides. We're really, she's only doing outdoor rides once a week though on on the, the weekend. To, you know, for our our uh, long ride, and that's that's one thing that I've really missed because I looked forward to that all week, and that was really what I was doing all the the training during the weekdays was to be able to do these long rides on the weekend, and. Um, I've been still trying to do some long rides on the weekend, uh, but they're just brutal. It's doing long rides inside. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, Zwift, the Zwift is cool and everything, but you know, after three and a half hours, you know, you've had enough of it. And, uh, it's, it's like, you need a change of scenery. You know, the time goes by a lot faster when you're outside riding the bike. Um, yeah, doing a three plus hour in, ride indoors is just, for me, it's just brutal. But I've been still trying to to do that. Um, I, I've done a couple, I think I've done a couple rides so far since the injury that were um, three hours or more. Um, all the other, most of the other rides were just shorter ones, you know, like workouts and stuff. And, um, but yeah, at least I at least I can continue to 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 train and try to maintain maintain my my fitness for when I can uh, get back outside. And um, let's see what else. Oh, um, I actually got a new bike. Uh, I was in the market for a new bike before the injury. I was looking at uh, the Canyon. Canyon Ultimate, the same one that, that Joy has, or has, has had for, Joy's had it for, you know, a few months now. And, uh, I wanted that same bike and it was out of stock when, when I first went to, to order it, it was out of stock. And that, that was, uh, that was probably about a month, month or a couple months ago. So I was kind of waiting for it to come back in stock. And then, um, of course, it, it came back into stock maybe a week after after I had my surgery, and so I, but I just jumped on it anyway because I, it was something that I wanted to that I was planning on getting already, and I didn't want it to go back out of stock and then have to wait for it um, when when I am able to to ride outside again. I'm not quite sure when that'll be. Uh, but when I am able to ride outside again, it'd be nice to, to have, have the new bike already because uh, number one, there were a few issues with my old one, uh, with the, um, I was having issues with the, the wheel, the derailleur, the, the shifting. Um, and you know, the bike was just, uh, it's a, it was a, a heavier bike. Uh, so there were a few, you know, downsides to the bike that I was using. And the other thing that could be an issue with my old bike now is that, I mean, I, I haven't tried to ride it since, since the crash. Um, after crashing, I just, I, I fortunately was close enough to the house that I could just walk back home with the bike. But I haven't tried to actually ride it since then, so who knows what could be wrong with it now. Um, you know, it could have more mechanicals. Uh, at, at minimum, the seat is misaligned and possibly bent because um, I just noticed that in the garage the other day. Uh, so uh, for safety purposes, it would be nice to just have a bike that I know is functioning well um, when I start riding outside again. And, um, on that note, um, I have my next follow-up appointment with the doctor in about three weeks, um, August 21st, I believe. And so I'll, I'll be seeing what he says at that point in terms of, you know, how much longer until I can 
ride outside. Uh, he did mention at my post first post op appointment that I'll probably want to have the the plate and screws removed um, once the once the bone uh, heals itself or it's you know fused together. That I'll want to have that taken out because it'll just it's going to become an obstruction to my range of motion going forward if I leave it in there. Uh, and so in order to get full range of motion back, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably want to remove that. And he said, most people that have this type of surgery ha do have it removed. Uh, so that'll of course mean another surgery to, to, to go in there and re remove it. But hopefully, the recovery time after that surgery wouldn't be as long. Um, but you know, I'm just going to listen to the doctor, whatever he says in this case, especially, um, given the fact that I am able to ride inside, I'm definitely not going to push the issue and try to ride outside before it's safe to do it. Um, cause it's not like I still have something that I can do as much as I want to get back outside. So, um, like I said before, things are, things seem to be progressing, um, okay. Uh, you know, I don't have, uh, I really don't have much pain in, in the shoulder or the, you know, the, the injured site anymore. Uh, it's really just if I try to, to move the arm around too far and push the range of motion too far. Uh, so it seems to be healing and uh, that's uh, you know I'm pretty happy with the way the direction that things are progressing uh, at the moment and uh, I'll uh, give you another update later on next probably after the when I see the doctor again and get some you know some more information on you know what's what's the next step all right well Thanks everyone for, for watching the channel and uh, for everyone that's continued to, to watch the channel um, after we, even after we stopped uh, doing our rides together. It's, uh, I can assure you it's not gonna be permanent. Um, I'm really itching to get back out there and as soon as I'm able to, we'll, we'll be back at it. And uh, I'm gonna maintain my fitness so that um, we can continue to, to do some of the the things that we had on our list, like the uh, like doing a century ride in one of them. Joy might end up doing one before I'm able to ride outside, but um, we'll do one together after that when I'm ready for it.